testing out a little bit of a new setup and I know the film, the video is not full HD because it's my old video camera and my other camera kept shutting off on me because it kept overheating so I've been very frustrated about that um, but I was thinking I'm just gonna try this out and I do have my Yeti set up, but it's a little bit farther away from me than normal. So this is just going to be a little bit of a test video for you guys. And I have some sounds I'm going to make, so some pretty cool objects to show you. Let's start. Um, all of the objects are wood. I just have a little bag over here. Most of you have seen this already. A wooden pair. <laughs> Got little, uh, sounds like little foam beads in it or something. I'm gonna put my glasses on, I keep squinting. <laughs> Sorry about any reflection you see. So. This is just a little wooden pair with some engravings on it. Very pretty. So, you've already seen that, so let's show you some other cool stuff. Now, did you hear that? I borrowed these from my mother-in-law and uh, she collects a lot of really cool wooden uh, instruments and stuff like that. And uh, I was just in ASMR creator heaven being there when she said I could borrow a big bag of stuff. So here's one. Some metal here, and it at the back it says Woodstock Chimes, uh, Zenergy Chime, and it's a solo. So obviously one. these little strings and hold they're twisted underneath the metal here just under there that's kind of neat so it can came with this little in the, I don't really know I can't even think of the name of things lately feels like plastic and then this feels like wood this is wood <laughs> so let's see what this sounds like eh? while almost sounds like a singing bowl I think so if you guys like this let me know if you want to hear more I could use it for a meditation video or something This sounds like a tuning fork. A tuning fork, as Dimitri calls it. I'll 
put it by the mic, see what you think. Cool, huh? So, that's one. Or two. It just sits in there like that. Okay. Here's a little simple one, too. It's also made of wood. Everything I'm going to show you is wood. So this one, it looks like, actually is pretty noisy. So I'll try and be pretty quiet. So it's got two uh, semicircles. And on the inside, it's hollowed out a little bit. You see? See? I almost think it would sound a little bit nicer if there was some felt lined on the inside. And then the handle. Silver it. So, just kind of, you'd hold it against your knee probably and just go to town. Like spoons. I love playing spoons. It must be the Irish in me. Pretty simple. So like I said, this is just a little bit of a test video and if there's any other, any objects you want me to bring back and do a longer sounds video for you, just let me know. This one's a little weird, it's cute. I think it's made out of a gourd. I think it looks like a penguin. See? It's got little feet. Hmm. A little beak. It's a little bit loose. These little eyes. It's all carved. Right there. These wings. Well, maybe not a penguin because penguins have tiny little wings, don't they? That don't work. I'm not exactly sure what um, kind of bird is supposed to be. It's kind of cool though. And just like the pear, it has just like little wooden beads in this one. guys are into little, um, cool little instruments and stuff, motorcycle, um, she has a huge box of them at her house that I didn't want to take because I had already brought so much stuff home. So, maybe we'll bring that. Hello. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's that one. The gourd bird. <laughs> this one is actually huge. Not the biggest item I'm going to show you either. This one is an armadillo. See that? This little nose. This is probably made out of some kind of vegetable because of the nose. See that? Huh. I don't know. 
do you guys think? smooth at the bottom. The computer sounds like it's going to blow up, so I'm sorry if you can hear that. I'll try and edit it out. And the belly. So the feet. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't think it's an armadillo. I think it's a beetle. I don't know, what do you guys think? It's strange, isn't it? I like strange. It's because of his eyes. What is this thing? And those almost look like whiskers, but at the same time they look like little claws, so I can't tell. I had mentioned in my um, video I did for my other channel yesterday that Pyro might be sick, but um, I think he's going through what um, reptiles, uh, for reptiles is called brumation. It's like a hibernation, but um, they still, um, some of them still wake up. And i um, always been wanting to do his sleep, and he hasn't been eating or anything like that, so I've been worried, sick to my stomach, just worried about him. And um, he still looks happy. But the last couple of days, all he's been doing is sleeping, so it's a good thing. It means that he's an adult now. So I'm going to try not to worry too much. <laughs> so, just for some of you that had watched the other video, Pyro, I think he's going to be okay. I love that thing too much. <laughs> a lot of people don't understand. They say it's just a reptile. Um, but it's a member of our family. Definitely a lot of work though. So that is that armadillo beetle bug thing. Oh, this also has. These are instruments as well. I'm not sure what's inside them. Maybe the seeds, actually, because this actually looks like a real pear. I don't know how they do that. I'm excited about the next one. I'll show you uh, the miniature version of the next item, and then I have the real version, which is exciting. This is a miniature rain stick. about this one. This is more of just like a, almost like a like a um, maraca kind of thing that you shake. 
pretty noisy. Hollowed out log. Feels like almost like a type of styrofoam that they put in there. I'm not sure. I wish I had more to tell you about these, but I really don't. I think she got them from Goodwill. She donates and then buys stuff from there. She very much supports those kinds of things. Oh, okay. This one's noisy. Here's the big bad boy. It's pretty big for on camera. Let's we'll start here. <laughs> so it's got some Hear that? Some beads stuck at the top. She got some uh, yarn tied around over and over and over. And it comes down to this braid. The braid goes all the way down. And it's tied on the bottom, so you can carry it. This, um, I'm not sure where she got this. It's made in Chile. Distributed by Touch the Sky Inc. Toronto and Vancouver. So. And here. I'm sorry, I keep looking at the screen beside. I'm not used to this camcorder at all. Try to make this quiet. There you go. Like when it's quiet or like when it's it really sounds like rain, doesn't it? So cool. I think these derive from Australia. Maybe. Hard to control. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm really trying. <laughs> I was excited to show you guys this because I think it's really neat. Sounds uh let's do it again slowly. If I shake it like this it goes a little bit slower. Kind of hypnotizing to me. Just some items I wanted to show you. And just let me know if uh, I like using the camcorder because doesn't shut off on me. I can see within the frame 
for <laughs> and learn it for any kind of videos, especially medical videos. I want to be able to keep things in a frame like that. Like that. Oh, where'd it go? It's hard to get used to. And I noticed when I did my te other test video that these lights are on behind me. They literally are. But the frames are pretty slow on my camera. So it looks like they're going on and off. So I said, ah, whatever. <laughs> no big deal. I think that's it. So, just a little video for you guys. And, um, I think I'm slowly coming up with some more ideas right now for, especially for this. So, let me know what you liked, what you'd like to see more of. Um, there's no rush to bring these things back. And, uh, yeah. So, have an awesome day, guys, and I'll be seeing you soon.